Welcome, welcome, welcome to this new video. This time I want to go over the video that many of you were waiting for, or actually not so much the video, but you were asking about where you can download the files. So here they are. I'm going to add the link to this Google Drive folder in the description of the video so you can click on it and download it. As you can see, I have created 25 questions uh, for each of the 20 modules, that is 500 questions in total. And some of these questions I may have used in the previous videos, as you know, if you follow my channel, I've been creating the CEH video tutorial starting on module one. As of now, today is June 17th. I believe that I'm up to module 14 or 13, one of those two. I don't remember, but I'm going to complete all modules for CEH version 13. I'm going to go down to module 20, of course. And as you could see, you're going to be able to uh, go over the questions and see the answers. Uh, I have to be honest with you, you may find some answers that you may disagree with me, and that's totally fine, and that's something that you are going to see in the exam as well. Perhaps you're going to see a question that is going to have two possible uh, answers, and they're asking only for one answer. So be okay with that. Don't overthink it. I mean, like, if you know, if you have a good foundation, you're going to be fine. You're going to pass the exam. Uh, if you are new into cybersecurity, this may be a little bit intimidating to you, especially when you see 20 different subjects that you need to know about. It's totally fine. Just make sure you understand you have a good foundation of them especially when it comes to scanning networks, enumerations, uh, system hacking, malware threats. Make sure you understand the basic concepts, that you understand Nmap, you understand um, uh, Wireshark, you understand you know, how to do a, a, a filters in Wireshark. You don't have to know all the filters, but you need to have a good foundation, and you are going to be okay with that. If you have a technical background, perhaps you're going to be able to nail this test without taking any courses. Uh, but if you don't have any technical background, it's going to be difficult for you to try to memorize all this concept and understand the subjects just by memorizing them without practicing. So I would advise you to find a, a something to practice, something that you can practice on so that all the knowledge that you are going to be covering or the knowledge that you're going to obtain from that training is going to make sense when you are studying and getting ready for the exam. Uh, as always, as any other exam, do not overthink the questions. Go for the low-hanging fruits. Develop your own unique way of taking tests and make sure that you improve it. So you can be more efficient. These tests are timed. So you're not going to have unlimited time for that. You're going to have limited time, whatever that time is. I believe it's three, four hours or whatever that is. Make sure you use it wisely or maybe two hours. I forgot. Uh, but um, just understand your ports, the concepts. And I'm going to tell you this. You are going to be fine. Don't overthink it. Do your training. Put your work do the homework, and you'll be fine. Um, so if you're interested in the other modules that I'm going to be creating, just subscribe to the channel or check the channels, uh, the playlist that I created for CEH version 13. I also cover other topics in my channel. So I started to developing uh, some uh, playlists on artificial intelligence, chat GPT. I'm going to be working. I'm going, I'm going to go deeper into artificial intelligence, uh, not so much at the software engineering level, but at the technical level, how we can use it and maximize it, especially when it comes for um, cybersecurity. So again, here you have all 20 modules, uh, sample questions. The link is in the description of the video.
If you found this information useful and you are about to take the test and you felt that this was something that benefited you in your studies, I would appreciate if you let me know in the comment section. That's gonna be uh, something good to hear to me and to uh, the other people, other students of mine directly, or people on, on the web who are looking for resources that are gonna help them also to uh, nail that test. Once you pass the CEH exam, the written exam, you're going to have the option of going for a CEH master where you're going to be able to do exercises and hands on. Believe it or not, that test is easier than this. This is a lot of memor memorizations. Uh, whereas in the other, you're going to be able to use the command line, get help on the commands, and it's going to be way easier. But you have to um, understand the concepts first. So thank you for watching. And if you found this video and these resources useful, all I ask you to do is to click on the like button, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you know of anyone who can benefit from this video or any of the videos in the channel, please forward that information over to them so we can grow this community. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you on the next video.